Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. In the last lecture, we have been discussing a very important topic on transition metal carbene uh, complexes. In this particular topic, we have looked into various synthetic protocols that are available for making this transition metal carbene complexes. We have also spoken uh, about the importance of transition metal carbon complexes particularly with regard to their catalytic applications. We have also looked into various kinds of transition metal carbon complexes that are known or the classification of transition metal carbon complexes and these mainly are of two types uh, Fischer carbene as well as Schrock carbene and their reactivity and properties as well as the uh, methods use, uh, available for preparing them are also different. With that, uh, overview, what we are going to discuss today is some more uh, synthetic protocols that are used for preparing this transition metal ca carbene complexes, uh, particularly um, uh, the Fischer and the Schrock types. Now with regard to transition metal carbene complexes, uh, we had uh, come across uh, the free carbenes uh, which are called N heterocyclic carbenes. or referred to as NHCs. Now usually uh, carbenes are extremely uh, reactive molecule and different, uh, very difficult to isolate and characterize and from that perspective these NHCs are important because they are isolable and bottleable. carbenes and these are first prepared by Ardengo oh, which contain an imidazole on an imidazole based ring that contain imidazole with substituents on the nitrogen atom and a free carbene lone pair. Now what it turns out that these carbene complexes, uh, uh, these carbenes when complex to metal shows remarkable catalytic property and that is why NHC a bond, uh, transition metal bonded NHC complexes have gained catalytic prominence. And in the last lecture we have discussed that how these transition metal NHC complexes are formed and uh, one approach had been the reaction of free carbene with transition metal and for example treatment of this free carbene with M would give type of transition metal carbene complexes. We have also seen that transition metal carbene complexes can be obtained from the imidazolium precursors uh, which uh, gives free carbene upon reaction uh, with uh, uh, a base to give the transition metal carbene complexes. Now of the types of imidazolium precursor usually a one of the type is the CCL3 H bonds as shown over here and it has a hydrogen and a C CL3 moiety and these are called NHC precursor. 
of which upon heating gives of chloroform CHCl3 leading to free carbenes that dimerizes to give an olefin of the type shown over here. But this olefin does not dissociate to free carbene, whereas free carbene dimerize to olefins. So, carbon transition metal carbene can uh, complexes can be synthesized from the carbon precursor as well as uh, carbene by treat, uh, treating it with metal precursor in presence of a base. Another very interesting uh, method for preparing carbene from its imidazoline precursor is shown over here. For example, when this imidazolium salt is treated with or heated with mercury acetate, that releases two acetic acid molecule, the proton of the CH bond that gets abstracted by the acetate anion giving to giving rise to NHC carbon complex of the type shown over here. And the same abstraction instead of the acetate can also be achieved by a metallate, for example, HCrCO5 minus, which when heated eliminates dihydrogen, the hydride and this proton gives dihydrogen, giving this n heterocyclic carbene. chromium complex. Now, the beauty about this experiment is that this is NHC proton abstraction by an acetate moiety and on this side the same NHC proton abstraction by an hydride of a metallate. Anion. And both yielding transition metal NHC complexes from this precursor. And in both cases, this acidic proton of the NHC precursor is abstracted. In this case, it is by the anionic acid uh, uh, moiety. And in this case, the hydride of this uh, metallate abstracts this proton, uh, leading to uh, evolution of dihydrogen. And along with the formation of the chromium carbon complex. So, this is a very uh, elegant route uh, whereby 
uh, both uh, uh, whereby uh, the uh, NHC precursor is converted to transition metal NHC complexes. Now, as mentioned in our earlier discussion, Ardengo was succeed, success, Ardengo succeeded in preparing free NHCs and he did that by putting a, a steric bulk uh, on the nitrogen substituent which would prevent the uh, carbene, free carbene to dimerize and this was successfully uh, done by putting adamantyl as the N substituents uh, which led to isolation of free carbene. So, Ardengo's isolable carbene was obtained when this adamantyl substituted imidazolium halide was treated with sodium hydride as a base in THF and DMSO as a catalyst to give the free carbene plus hydrogen plus NaCl. This free carbene was obtained in high yield about 96 percent yield and was characterized with all techniques including X-ray and had a me melting point of 240 degrees centigrade which showed how stable this carbene was. So, this was uh, important breakthrough in being able to isolate uh, transient species which otherwise are extremely difficult uh, uh, to isolate and had only been observed in certain by uh, some uh, very sophisticated spectroscopic techniques. Ardingo uh, succeeded uh, in this endeavor by adopting two approaches. First, uh, by putting bulky groups like adamantyl groups around the carbon moiety which prevented this free carbon uh, in reacting with another moiety to give a olefin complex. So, this steric bulk was an important milestone in uh, isolating free carbene. The other apart from the steric the electronic uh, uh, strategy which Ardengo put in place for isolating the carbene was to have a heteroatom flank heteroatom flanking the the uh, the carbon carbonic carbon so there are two heteroatom flanking the carbonic uh, uh, carbon and that uh, that would stabilize that would stabilize the carbonic center by the electron with uh, by its minus i effect would stabilize carbonic lone pair by minus i effect and hence decrease its reactivity. With the at successful implementation of this strategy which had both electron steric as well as electronic components uh, towards isolating this free a, a carbene a, a lot of catalytic uh, reaction using transition metal carbene complexes uh, came into being and uh, their role uh, as catalyst in this transformation uh, were looked at uh, very seriously. This NHCs uh, uh, as mentioned uh, uh, was found to not only make bonds to transition metals, they formed bonds to various uh, uh, electron deficient entities like protons, 
or uh, electron pore species uh, as well as electrophiles. So, various carbene adducts that have been reported with free carbene are shown below. For example, the proton adduct with two mesetile substituents Similarly, a I plus stabilized by two carbene Mesetyl magnesium diethyl mesetyl aluminum H three. It even stabilizes various me, uh, metal in their low valent oxidation state like this inorganic carbene which has a 0 or plus 1 oxidation state and that is true for M equals nickel, platinum, then copper, silver, gold. So, what it brings to the fore that carbenes not only can bind to transition metal, but it also can bind to various uh, uh, electrophiles or cationic sources and stabilize them. Furthermore, because of the presence of bulky a substituents on the nitrogen atom, uh, the group which is uh, flanked by the carbene is well protected and stabilized. And in this way, uh, uh, reactive metals in their low oxygen state have been stabilized using carbene ligands. Now, regarding the classification of carbenes, we had uh, 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 discussed and uh, we have found that there are two classes of carbene, Fischer carbene as well as uh, Schrock carbene. Fischer type and Schrock type. So, even though a carbene is represented by Cr2, the electronic nature of bonding differ. The type of bonding differ between an Fischer type as well as Schrock type carbenes. And what has been found that Fischer type carbene is mainly in the singlet state. is mainly in the singlet state where carbene where this here to my t has two orbitals one in plane which contains the electron and which is full and the other which is outer plane which is empty. So, this 
is filled sp2 orbital and this is empty pz orbital. So, we have uh, two orbitals of which one is filled another is empty and hence this is called a singlet carbene. Fischer uh, Schrock type carbene are however different they are generally called triplet carbene and electronically though the carbonic center is still sp2 but both the orbitals has one electron each. So, this is C sp 2 similar to what it is, but this is half filled as well as the P z is also half filled. So, this type of carbene represents triplet carbene. So, as the orbital of this carbene are different their inter, uh, and the ele electronic structure of these carbenes are different, their engagement with the metal center is also different and they define two kind different kinds of reactivity. So, let us now look in details about the type of reactions which are present or type of interactions which are present in Fischer and Schrock type carbene complexes. In Fischer type carbene there are two types of interactions one is metal to ligand sigma donation and that is given by or this is a sp2 orbital and this is full containing two electrons and this is a empty dz orbital empty orbital. So, this is a donation from full to empty and this is appropriately said uh, designated by metal ligand sigma inter uh, interacting orbital. The next type of interaction is the uh, metal to ligand pi back donation pi type interaction where a metal full orbital this is metal d pi type orbital donates its electron to the empty p z type orbital so in this case uh, this one is full and this is empty p z orbital and then the donation is happening from filled to empty. This is from filled to empty and this is from filled to empty. So, this is metal to ligand pi interaction. Now, Despite the fact that both of these 
interactions are happening both are of sigma type in the sense that uh, 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 dative interaction of the sigma type happening in the forward direction and similarly a uh, dative from fill to empty uh, pi type interaction is happen happening on the reverse direction. And this is the interaction which is prevalent in Fischer type of com carbene complexes those represents singlet carbenes. So, with this I summarize uh, uh, the topic that have been co covered in today's lecture which involved various synthetic protocols that are available for uh, preparing the Fischer and Schrock type carbene complexes. We have also looked at the stability of these two type of complexes, looked at the electronic nature uh, uh, of these two type of complexes, particularly the Fischer type ones being the singlet uh, type carbene which are highly reactive as compared to the Schrock type ones which are of triplet type. In, uh, uh, in the Fischer type one there is a uh, uh, filled uh, sp2 orbital and a empty uh, pz orbital uh, uh, which participate in interaction with the metal center. As for the uh, Schrock type ones both the sp2 uh, carbon uh, orbital as well as the uh, pz orbital both uh, uh, contain uh, one electron each and each of them is half filled and this is how uh, they are in the triple state and that they interact with uh, transition metal uh, uh, with these uh, uh, two type of orbitals. We have uh, looked into the various protocols which are responsible for that and with that let me uh, uh, conclude. Uh, today's lecture and we will uh, 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 take up the carbene in bit more detail in looking into various properties and reactivities of metal carbene complexes, the ramification of these two type of interactions in terms of the properties that they exhibit we have all, uh, uh, in the following class. In this particular class we have also looked at uh, these uh, very uh, famous anheterocyclic carbenes their stability, how they are uh, stabilized uh, to get a free uh, carbene where dimerization or the olefin formation has been suppressed and uh, this was first uh, done by Ardego uh, uh, and the strategy which was successfully used was not only to put on bulky sterics to prevent dimerization around the carbonic center, but also to put electron withdrawing heteroatom that would stabilize uh, the free a carbonic uh, uh, lone pair uh, and prevent them from reacting. So, with this uh, uh, thank you for being with me in this lecture and I look forward to uh, being with you in the next lecture where we will take up few more reactivity of metal carbon uh, uh, complexes. Till then goodbye and thank you.